This video took a stupid amount of time to put together. I had to research about every single writer, their background was, if they were at this site before, and what place they got. I really wanted to get as much information to make this video valuable to you so that you guys know who the heck's at Rampage. I've kind of broken the writers into two different groups. We have the writers who have been here to this site before, and we have the writers who have not. I'll also be discussing um, what's their best placement at Rampage before, are they a rookie, and if we have anything big to note about their lines. At the very end of the video, I will be giving you my predictions, and without further ado, let's get into it. So, first off, we have Ethan Nell. Now, Ethan Nell was an alternate. He was not originally a part of the uh, writer's list, but Emilio Hansen did have a crash and will not be competing, so Ethan Nell has taken his spot. St. George local boy back at it again. He is 26 years of age. Like I said, St. George local. 2017 and 2018, he had his best ever years. He had a two third places. So Ethan Nell is no one to scoff at. He clearly has a run and a line that the judges like although will like to be interesting to see how he's evolved in the last five years um he wasn't at last year's rampage or the rampage before that due to reasons i don't 100 percent understand but yeah he does not he but he's back we're excited for him and i'm excited to see what he can bring um he had a crazy flip high up on the mountain in 2018 and, and he also had a big techno hander off a of flat drop so look for those um for those same hits again in his line as he tries to once again get another third place or even better up next we have cam zinc absolute legend he was last year's um rampage winner he is a two-time winner the last time he won was in 2010 um ironically both were at the same site um he is 38 years of age and from Reno, Nevada. Now, this site wasn't historically been a good site for him. Uh, this is kind of going to be in a redemption year. He's had big crashes or was unable to compete um, due to injuries um, during this year. In 2018, like I said, he was injured. And in 2019, he took 20th. So basically last due to the crashes. Um Look for his run to be drops and jumps linking together all the way down the mountain. He will be going riders left with the majority of the riders uh, over towards the prices right drops and then into that um, step down to trick jump on the very riders left side of the course. It's going to be a very popular area, so will that help him or hurt him? We'll find out. Um, so one other big news, this is the first year he'll be riding on his own frame, um, census bikes, or maybe it's zinc frames. I don't remember. I think it's census bikes, um, but excited for him uh, that he's got his own bike brand. Up next, we have Carson Storch. Um, he is a constant performer and still in his prime, so he definitely is someone who could win. He did take third place last year in 2021, which was his um, highest, definitely his highest rank he's ever had um he's from bend oregon originally age 31 now 2018 and 2019 he's also someone who's going to be looking for redemption for these years i had two big crashes in 2018 and 2019 also ended in a crash basically didn't place top 10 um this year is going to be a redemption, and he has been quoted as saying that this is his favorite site. So excited for him to get back into it. Next up, Tom Van Steenbergen, second place last year from Kelowna, Kelowna, Kelowna British Columbia. He is 28 years old, um, had a massive flat flip in his run at this site. Absolute banger. I believe he got second or third in 20. 18. I want to say, yeah, I want to say 2018, maybe it's 2019. Um, Tom has always been someone that I've thought could win. And this year is no different. He has a line that people like, and I'm excited to see how he changes it up. Up next, Brendan Faircloth. He's from Guildford, United Kingdom. He is 36 years old and his best. He's played fourth at, um, fourth and Bull rampage um that was last year that's being his best result and this will be his 12th rampage so he's been to a lot of them um line includes lots of unique features if you saw our site preview video he is the one going to be riding the rock and if you've been following his dig videos he's going to be jumping this year onto the rock and then off absolutely insane i'm really excited to see how that scores he's also changed kind of the weaker portions of his run he's been adding some new things so i really think this could be the year for brendog and if it's not you can bet your bottom that people are going to think that he got gypped once again so up next kyle straight from alpine california 
um, 37 years of age. He is another two-time Rampage winner. Uh, he has a very similar link to line to Zinc, um, although there's a little bit things different. And he, but he was able to put down runs in 2018 and 2019. 2018, he got seventh. 2019, he got ninth. Uh, he's one of the few people who's competed. At, he is the only person who's competed at every single Rampage since 2004. 2002, sorry, 2002 when he was 14 years old. Kyle Strait is an absolute legend. Up next, Bienvenido Guado Alba, who last year blasted onto the scene with a giant front flip over the Canyon Gap, giving him the People's Choice Award. Um, he is from Barcelona, Spain, 36 years old. Um, in 2018 was his first year. Sorry, 2019 was his first year where he would get 19th due to a couple of crashes. Um, he likes this site, and they're making some big things. Uh, his line is looking pretty good, changing it quite a bit from the looks of it from previous years from his 2019 line, so expect big things from him. Up next, my absolute favorite rider of all time, Brandon Semenuk, who's the GOAT. From Squamish, British Columbia, he is 33 years old, and he is a four-time Red Bull Rampage winner, the only one. Um, he's won in 2008, 2016, 2019, and 2021. Um, he is back. Last year, he did not compete because in his side time, he's decided to become not only the best mountain biker in the world, but now he might be one of the best rally car drivers in the world. He's just that good. He won in 2008 when he was 17 years old, and he won at this site in 2019. So expect big things from him. Up next, Simon Godziak, who's one of my favorite riders. He's from Suzek, Poland. He's 31 years old. He got 22nd in 2022, and he's kind of known for big crashes. Going to be honest with you, had a big crash last year, had a big crash in 2018, and in sixth, uh, got sixth place in 2019, but won the People's Choice Award. So expect big things from him. He, No one is going to try and go bigger or do bigger tricks than Simon Godziak, which is usually a good recipe for success here at rampage if he stays on his bike he will get top five i have no doubt in my mind up next thomas janon from southern belgium up next is thomas janon from southern belgium age 31 um fifth in 2018 14th in 2019 um he started out a slope style rider and has really come on as a prominent um, rampage rider um, I would be awesome to see him crack into the top three and it's not that I don't believe in you there's just so many good riders I don't think this is his year yeah up next we have Adolf Silva no one is crazier or more insane than Adolf Silva uh, his whole family are action sports athletes I think his mom skydives or something crazy like that so he's insane uh, expect no one to look more crazy and erratic than Adolf Silva uh, from Barcelona, Spain. He's 27 years old, won the People's Choice in 2018. That was his best placement, was 11, 11th. Um, super fast, super erratic, and super talented. Up next, Kurt Sorge, the previous king of Rampage until Brandon Semenuk decided to ruin Kurt's only legacy. From Nielsen, British Columbia, Canada, he's 35 years old. Like I said, three-time Rampage winner. Got ninth in 2018 and 18th in 2019 due to some crashes. Um, I expect Kurt hasn't done anything super crazy in recent years. Did have a great video part that came out earlier this year. Um, it would be really, really cool to see him perform well this year. Um, this site really isn't been his. So expect big things from him. Would not be surprised if a top 10 for Kurt Sori. Also wouldn't be surprised if he didn't get in the top 10. Now, someone who definitely could be in the top 10 is Reed Boggs. Living in Hurricane, Utah right now. He's originally from Ohio, age 27, 13th of 2018, 11th of 2019. His best result was in 2021 when he got a third. He is a very composed rider, very fluid. He tends to spend a lot of time riding in the desert. So this is definitely going to be a home field advantage with him. Him and Ethan L and DJ Brandon definitely run around together riding a lot. So expect him to be very comfortable doing tricks on big drops. It's what he's trained to do and what he's most likely going to try to do again. Up next, Tyler McCall, living in Tokerville, Utah, originally from Santa Cruz, California. Uh, Age 35, his best result was a sixth in 2019. He's someone that I've always liked watching, and I really want him to one day win. He's going to be one of those guys that if he never gets a top three, it's going to be a travesty, but there's been lots of riders who haven't gotten top threes. Um, so hope he can pull one out. 
He has always one insane drop on its line, usually tries to find one of the bigger ones or biggest hits, and he usually names them after entrees at Chili's. So those are all the riders who have been to this site before, uh, which is quite a bit. Now, again, just want to go over why this is important. The reason why this is important is because when you've been to a site before, you already have a line kind of picked out. You've already kind of um, ranked your lines compared to what other people have put on. It's hard to, while you're in the process of digging, look at other people's lines and be able to compare because you're so focused on dig days to focus on digging, right? So this will be really um, important for these next guys we're going to talk about to not only try to find something and squeeze in there, but also be able to build something that competes with what everyone else has done. Um, and people will be iterating on what they've done. They've already been here before. So Talis Turk is our first writer we're going to talk about. He's from Bellingham, Washington. He now lives near Virgin, Utah. Um, if you know where the 26 Palms Jump Park is, right behind the Maverick in Washington, um, he was one of the guys that built that place. Super cool um, place. He is 22 years old. This is, will be his second year at Rampage. He got fifth last year as a rookie. He is someone that you absolutely cannot um count out expect big drops and lots of confidence that's the theme with these guys that grow up or live nearby up next we have clemens caudela had a recent edit where he called himself the entrepreneur of freeride um he's from and i am so sorry i'm gonna slaughter this unterstinken brun austria hopefully i did that right he's 34 years old this will be the first time at this site just like talus turk expect big drops he is not afraid to go big um, not afraid of it at all. Up next, Luke Whitlock. He is kind of Cam Zink's protege. He's from Reno, Nevada, 21 years old. This is his first Rampage period. Um, and he's definitely in some promotional stuff with him. Expect a flip drop out of him. Um, he's going to try and go for it. So, yeah, expect a big flip drop. Tom Isted, my personal favorite rookie, Rampage rookie this year, even though he's definitely not a free ride rookie from Cornwall, United Kingdom, age 32. Um, he goes to all of the big bike events like Dark Fest and stuff like that. Uh, he's also a premier slope style athlete, so he definitely has the tricks. And so he's bringing him to a place like Rampage just makes sense, and I'm glad he's able to come. He kind of reminds me, he's like a UK Nikolai Regatkin, which is kind of fun. And another cool thing is he currently holds the world record backflip, um, dirt to dirt backflip of 110 feet on the dot. Absolutely massive. Expect big things out of Tom. Him and Kamikal are working on a crazy canyon gap. So I'm excited to see how that um, works out for him. Um, now, as far as predictions go, there are so many riders who can make it in the top three. Um, and I've kind of pointed out a few of them, but if I had to guess, in third place, I see Brandon Semenuk to, um, being into the top three. I'll put him at third just because I do think these next two guys, it's hard because Brandon, I would say, is probably a better writer than these next two guys, even though um, these guys are definitely been knocking on the door for so long. So Brandon Semenuk, I'm going to put in third place. I have to put him in the top three because I'd be lying if I didn't say that I don't think that if Brandon Semenuk doesn't crash, he's going to be up there. He's just too good. In second place, I have Simon Godziak. Really, this is like 1A, 1B for me, but I do think that Simon Godziak has a great run. I'm not super in love with the top half of his run. I'm interested to see how he's willing to change. There's been a lot of, if you've watched his videos coming up into Rampage, he definitely has some different ideas that will make it more technical. Is it going to make it a better, more difficult line? I don't know. Um, but in first place, for the first time ever, I do think Brennan Faircloth is going to win this. Um, I think at watching the... Uh, his videos coming into Rampage, he is addressing the problems in his line from 2018 to 2019. There were definitely some dead zones before the rock and then between the rock and the canning gap that needed to be addressed that didn't quite have um, the pizzazz. They were just kind of him riding along, connecting features, which will never rank well on Rampage runs. So I'm glad that he's addressing them. He's making it a more difficult line. He's making it uh, more technical and he's hopefully putting more options into um, 
more options for him to win. That's it for me today. If you're interested in our site preview, watch it right here. Had a lot of support from you guys. You guys have been liking that one. So if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.